right, big day for the GX. Got new wheels and tires going on. Alpha equipped Deltas and Kenda Cleaver 33s. So I gotta get them loaded up in the truck. Head down to the tire shop, meet the GX. There we go. Five Alpha Equipped Deltas. Five Kinda Cleaver 33 by 10 and a half. Little T's. Can't wait to get these babies on the GX. So we just got the new wheels and tires installed yesterday. It was dark by the time we got home, so I couldn't really check them out too well. So now that it's the next day, I'm gonna go check these bad boys out. Black, oh, those Alpha Equip Deltas, can the cleavers just look beefy? Check it out. Super stoked with that. It looks amazing. Uh, those wheels look great on these tires. Oh man. Stoked.
myself in my home. I got G, that's my bro, OB on the beat. We got heat on the stove, it's a heat beat. Well, I just got back from a quick rip around the farm. The Kenda Cleaver RTs performed amazing on these muddy farm roads. Um, man, such a difference from the Falcon Wild Peaks that just came off. Obviously, these are brand new, full tread. The Wild Peaks had a decent amount of miles on them. Um, so obviously not a direct brand new comparison for each, but super impressed with these. Um, when I drove them home last night from getting them installed, definitely heard a little bit more road noise than uh, the Wild Peaks. Um, but the Wild Peaks were also um, the SL rating, while these are LT. Uh, so a little bit of a difference there as well. Um, these definitely felt a lot more stable with all the weight I have on the GX now, so that was kind of part of the reason uh, for upgrade. This thing is a heavy, heavy beast now with the Bush Comp Alphany rooftop tent and awning. Got a full 75 liter fridge in the back with a drawer system. So lots of weight um, for these heavy duty tires. So super stoked on these tires and also the Alpha equipped uh, Delta wheels. Um, man, they look great in black on this Claret Mica. So hashtag Claret Mica Squad. You guys know who you are. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more GX content and overlanding adventures coming soon. Take it easy. The next day. cocky with these new tires and it rained a little bit so it was extra moist and I didn't keep enough velocity on this little hill so yeah I tore it up a little bit and see the kind of cleaver RTs this mud here is quite a bit stickier than the other stuff we were driving on so it's definitely packed in the tires and it's not ejecting uh, at the moment with this mud very well so just goes to show you can pretty much pack any tire with mud even if it was uh, a KM3 I mean this is pretty pretty clay right now so yeah would have made it up if I would have had a little momentum most likely probably doesn't look that steep on the video but it's a pretty decent incline um, could make it up with max tracks or the winch off to one of those trees, but probably just going to opt to go around so we don't continue to tear up my mom's <laughs> roads. So anyway, yeah, that's, uh, I guess the first experience with these kind of cleavers where they've kind of packed out with mud. Um, still much better than the Falcon Wild Peaks, uh, the AT3Ws that we had on before uh, in the mud. Definitely a lot better than that. So, anyway, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. No stones, I don't play. I got woes, I got God, I got hope, I got soap in my home. I got G, that's my bro, OB on the beat. He got heat on the stove. If they keep playing with us, they gon' reap what they sow.